Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our AVAB and we're looking at carrier takeoff and carrier landings. Now there's one type of carrier takeoff that we're interested in and, in and two types of landing. So we're going to imagine that we're operational here and therefore we're going to be heavy for a takeoff with weapons. Then we're going to have to do a slightly modified stall takeoff to take off. And when it comes to landing, we're going to be relatively lightweight. We're going to be low fuel and zero or low ordnance. So it's going to be a VTOL landing and there are two variations one is the rear approach or to the rear of the carrier and one is a side approach so let's get stuck right in first of all let's uh, get on with the takeoff so our usual prep we're going to go to maximum flaps we're going to go ensure that we're on uh, v-stall mode for the hud get our coolant water for takeoff our usual takeoff instrumentation is of concern here so we've got the uh, indicated airspeed here We've got the path uh, vector here. We've got our witch's hat here. We've got our nozzle position here, our flap position here. And we will have our ideal climb markers up here at somewhere about 15 degrees that we'll have a look at in a minute. Uh, Note no nose will steering want turned off. So we've got caster steering on and that's controlled with this here, left on uh, the middle position. So let's just check our weight and make sure we're not overweight. We've got, what, six bombs. Uh, we are just, we're a thousand, one and a half thousand below maximum weight, so we should be okay. We don't need to go right to the back of the carrier. We're in the middle of the carrier at the moment, and we should just be able to make it with that kind of run-up. As for the procedure, we're going to hold wheel brake on. We're going to spool up to whatever the wheel brake can hold. And as soon as it starts to slip and skid forward, then we are going to go to full power. So we're going to go over 100% up to uh, try and keep it below 107% if possible. Uh, our, nozzle posi our nozzle position will start off at 10 degrees or anywhere between 0 and 10 degrees is fine. Uh, it's very important that as soon as we hit the end of the ramp, uh, we have to ramp our nozzle position up to 50 degrees or as close as 50 degrees as we can get. This will allow the flaps to come down to maximise lift and as soon as we're off the edge we want to gear up, up as well. We also want a little bit of back stick if possible, not too much because we don't want to stall it, but just a bit of back stick to prevent the nose from diving. As soon as we've got a bit, a decent bit of velocity over 100 knots, then we're going to start pulling the nose up, get the witch's hat here pointed up with the ideal climb markers, and then we're going to climb like a normal stall climb from then on. Right, that's all I can think of now, so let's get on with it. Wheel brake on, spool to what we can hold. Just skidding, full power. Fifty percent, gear up, nose up a little bit, a little bit wobbly, but okay. Start ramping that nozzle forward. Flaps up to medium, auto. We can align. That is our witch's hat that we're currently aligning with our ideal markers there. Start ramping those nozzles back even further. Whoops, wrong way. Sorry and fully back flaps to cruise nav mode water injection off and flying normally right i'll report back to you when we're ready for landing okay we're just circling our carrier now and we're interested in coming down and landing now we're going to do a VTOL landing which means we've got to be sufficiently lightweight so the first thing we're going to do is get rid of our stores to uh, represent having done our mission and dropped our bombs uh, the next thing we're going to do after that is we are going to dump our fuel we're currently at full fuel we cannot land uh, on a carrier with full fuel it would be well technically we can but it would be a bit of a struggle so what we want to do is dump fuel to ensure that we've got the lightest airframe possible for landing so we're going to right dump on left dump on uh, this is going to dump our fuel on both sides until we reach a total of 2,800 pounds which will be ideal for us uh, for landing give us plenty of fuel for landing but keep us nice and light right I'm going to speed up time now until it's fully dumped and then I'll report back Okay, fuel is fully dumped. Now we're going to get down to the carrier and get in a left-hand circuit of the carrier. I shall report back on the downwind. Okay, we're on our downwind leg of a left-hand circuit. We're at circuit altitude and speed. Uh, what, so what we're going to do is head round. We're going to do a left base leg turn. On this base leg turn, we're going to get fully prepped for our final approach. Our final approach is going to be a basic 
uh, VTOL landing. Now I've done a full video on VTOL landings before on the Harrier so I shall refer you to that for the finer details so rather than go through spend 10 minutes talking through it what we shall just do is get on with it and I'll talk through it as best I can as we go. So we're just going to do our prep quickly, check we've got sufficient water, and we have. Check we've got sufficient OT time, and we have. Uh, we probably won't be using any um, overclocking of the engine for this because we're relatively lightweight. So let's get straight on with it. We're going to unpause. We're going to go V-Stall for the hub mode. We're going to go landing for the water. We're going to go half flaps, auto flaps. We're going to come off the gas. We're going to start our base leg turn. Whoops, I was um, gaining too much altitude. I should have stayed at 1,000 altitude there, so just ignore that. Come off the gas. We're going to keep looking over our left shoulder to... We want to come out on this base leg turn in line for a final VTOL approach. We want to be burning uh, the speed off aerodynamically. We don't really want to use our um, air brake. Um, adjusting the trim all the way around. Starting to feed the nozzles back now. Now she will want to lose speed very quickly at this point, so just keep on the speed. Keep on the throttle, just make sure she doesn't uh, want to stall. Okay, we're going to come down further on the nozzles and 50, 50 degrees. We're going to start working our way down so that the path vector where we are actually travelling is going to be on the threshold of the carrier. Our witch's hat is going to stay roughly where it is, if possible, for the whole journey, somewhere between minus 5 and 0 degrees. Our flaps will feed down as we go. Right, we're going to lose a bit more speed now. We're now going to go down to full flaps to put full drag on. We're going to go landing gear down. Gear. Landing gear. We should really have put the landing gear down on the base leg turn rather than the final approach, but that's uh, it's okay. So this is a very steep approach. So what I'm going to do to arrest this approach a little bit is to get those nozzles down a little bit further. We're going to start watching our vertical velocity now. Usually I wouldn't do such a steep approach, but it's, uh, it's going to be okay still. It was right down just to arrest our um, our forward uh, velocity a little bit, and we can start start feeding them back now. Okay, going to increase the power, more nozzle angle. Want to slow us down and slow our descent rate down as well. We shouldn't need to go over 100% engine uh, engine throttle. Carrier's moving about 15 knots, so um, we just want to mate with that. Need to shift off to the left ever so slightly. Now, visibility will become difficult at this point, so um, a little bit of instinct is going to be required here. The nose is a little high at the moment, so we're just going to a little bit of forward stick to um, help the nose down. We need a little more forward nozzle to help us forward. We're a little bit slow. Goes forward a little. And start arresting our descent now. Down a little bit rough, but um, it's not too bad. I haven't done that in six months or so, so <laughs> it'll have to do for now. What we're going to do now is take off again and go for the same but a side approach. I'll try and make it a bit smoother this time. Okay, we're back in a left-hand circuit. That last approach, although we landed, was a bit naff, so we're going to try and do a little bit better this time. So this time we're going to do a side entrance, so exactly the same. It's going to be a VTOL landing, into a, basically into a hover, off to the left-hand side of the carrier, then a side step to the right, then a landing. Uh, so we need to do our usual checks. Um, we've got our OT time here. Uh, to ignore the actual number at the moment in this tutorial. At this time of making the video, it bugs, but I'm just trying to make the point you need to check that you've got sufficient OT time. 
water i filled up with water when we stopped and put a, put a splash of gas in as well so water's fine um everything else is good so let's uh, begin our approach restore mode again landing water cooling let's check how we're gonna let's do a little more of a down leg back down to circuit altitude i've climbed again while i was doing that i think that's okay let's make our turn So we're going to start feeding those nozzles back and start losing some speed. Much bigger approach this time so we should have a lot more time to get things settled. Where's he gone? There he is. Tighten that turn up a bit. First stage flaps down. Okay, this is a bit better. We can get that gear down below 250. Landing gear. Landing gear. Right, we're going to go down to 50 nozzle. Lovely big long approach this time. Right, so we want to get our path vector there to the side of the carrier. Our witch's hat isn't too important at the moment. Going to try to keep it between minus 5 and 0 if possible. Retrimming. Right, I'm now hands off stick and pretty much trimmed. Speed we're going to keep high for the moment because we've got quite a long way to go. Sync rate isn't really relevant at the moment because we're going to be using our path vector until we get a little closer. Right now we get closer, we're going to start reducing the speed by increasing nozzle. We're also going to put our full flaps down. This will shake us up a bit, so I just need to retrim. A bit more down nozzle. If we can achieve about 30 knots by the time we hit the rear of the carrier, that would be nice. Retrim slightly. Whoops, just realised I've turned my control off. Control back on there. Right, we're going to have to start arresting our... Um, our horizontal velocity, put our nozzles back a little, and that'll do. Less nozzle angle, more power. Watch the sink rate. We shouldn't need to go above 100%. Right, we're Maintain this altitude. Nose has gone too high, so let's nose down a little. A little less nozzle, let's slow down. Little more nozzle, sorry. Little nest, nest nozzle that speed up a little. Little more nozzle. So I'm balancing everything with a tiny bit of stick control, but mainly with the throttle. Everything's being done with the throttle at the moment. I'm watching that uh, vertical climb gauge on the right. A little more nozzle. Right, I have to be worried about running out of fuel now, so we're going to start drifting right. Only having to use about 95% of the throttle, which is nice. Watch this thing, right? Straighten out with a little bit of your and bring her down. And a lovely touchdown. So that was a much better example of an approach. The first one was a bit rushed, it was a bit steep, and it was a bit ugly. This one was nice and controlled, a typical VTOL landing. Uh, took a little bit longer than I would usually take, but um, it's fine. It gave me a bit more talking time. Landed with plenty of fuel, and we didn't use any over 100% on that. Uh, right, I don't think I've got anything to add to that. I hope that helps, and I'll see you later.